um, question by Ann Renee One. She asked me, how do um, you raise your children to be, can I give her some suggestions on how to raise my children to be respectful adults? All right, being that my children are 7 11, I'm still raising them. Um, my brothers and sisters, on the other hand, that I helped raise, um, they are all grown now, except my little sister that's be 13 in a couple of days. Um, I would not suggest that you <laughs> raise your children as if I raise mine because I'm not confined to anything. So um, we don't have a particular religion, Renee. Um, every year we, we go to different um, churches. We've been to Muslim. We're in the Morris Science Temple now. Christian, Baptist, Baptist. Methodist, which is my grandma's church, Catholic, um, Buddhist, Hindu, um, a bunch of stuff. We just go to different churches. Um, we study religion. So I don't um, practice a particular religion. We are very spiritual people. We do believe in God. Um, but in order for my children to pick one religion, I want them to have studied many so they can make a wise choice when they get a dose. So um, whatever they choose to be, I'm okay with that. But I don't want them to say, well, my mother was Catholic, so now we Catholic. No, because, hey, if I only ate bologna, I can only speak bologna. But if I done studied 20 million religions, I can speak to whoever about whatever. And the choice cannot be, as a parent, my children come through me. For me to teach them, they don't belong to me. You know, they're going to go about their own way and do whatever it is that they do, but I want them to be well um, informed. So we don't have a certain religion, but every year we practice faithfully that religion. And then if they say, Mama, we want to do Hindu again, we'll go to the Hindu church again. And we, you know, we do a lot like that. Um, for as finances, I bring my check home, and um, I put all the bills on the table. Damn, that was me dropping the Windex. I bring my check, all my money, I put it on the table, and I put my bills on the table. And I tell my kids, hey, this is all the money we got, so y'all, what y'all think we should do? In the long run, I'm going to make the fucking decision, but I want to make sure that they understand that money don't go on trees. This is how much fucking money we got, and this is the shit we owe. Now, what? You know? Um, so I keep them informed on how to handle money. That should be a, a class that's taught in school, money, but it's not. Um, we talk a lot about relationships, mother and daughter and, and daughter and son and, and girl and boy and how you should be treated. Um, we, my son, he opens the door to us. He carries bags, you know, um. We, we, we go over that kind of stuff, what a man should do, what a woman should do. And in the Seven Circle Quran um, at the Moor Science Temple, they have like a, a whole chapter on the duties of a husband, the duties of a wife, the duties of a mother, the duties of a husband, the duties of a father. And they are really, really good. And um, it's something that your children should know, you know, um, duties of children. So they really have some good um, bylaws, you know, that you can use for life that's in there. Um, Proverbs, virtuous woman. We've read that. I mean, we we do we study. We don't look at TV. We do not look at TV. Uh, since my brother's been at, here in my house, this is probably the most TV that they have ever watched in their lives. Every week, they need to do a book report. They need to read something and tell me what they learned. Get a newspaper clipping. Tell me what it's about. We need to do that. Um, I don't really have a lot of restrictions for my children. Um, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to let them be disrespectful to themselves and to other people. But my thing is, be honest. Be honest to me. But most of all, be honest to your goddamn self. Because I may be dead and gone. And a person that lie to themselves unconsciously will lie to others. Consciously and unconsciously. So I am very, um, we do a lot of volunteer work. You know what I'm saying? Very charitable people. Um, my children have been doing volunteer work since they were two. Um, you know, at the cancer center at, um, what is the name of that? Children's Hospital. 
in St. Louis, and um, also Cardinal Cardinal Glennon Hospital. They have um, cancer children or children with different diseases from different states. I have a YouTube subscriber. I don't know if she, you know, wants me to say her name or whatever, but she has a baby that was really ill, and they had to go. Let me check these minutes. Okay. They had to go out of town and live in the hospital. I would go and talk to the parents while my kids play with the cancer patient children only because they can't get out, they can't make friends, they can't go to school. So you can volunteer your kids for that. Um, homeless shelters. I love working at the homeless shelters. My kids do too. Um, they had a night out at the homeless. We slept outside with the homeless people, you know, and it wasn't, it was a really humbling experience to sleep all night on a blanket on the grass and I was going to go by myself so my daughter asked to go no my son asked to go then my daughter asked to go then my sister asked to go then my friend little boy asked to go so not only was I a homeless lady with, with by myself I had four kids and we all slept on the grass so that just really gave me an in hobo park with a lot of different homeless people and other people who just you know slept out with the homeless that night it made me appreciate life, and it taught my children that this is how mommies do when they're homeless. They not only can't lay down, I was getting up every hour, checking on them, checking on them, make sure there were no spiders or no snakes. Up. Man, it was just a humbling experience, and my children love it. Um, I told y'all the story about when my son was little. He wanted to wear his Scooby-Doo Halloween costume, and Janelle Danae Nelly, my sister, was here from out of town. She's like, you going to let him wear that? I was like, yeah. Why? Why not? Shit. Because people going to be looking at us. People going to look at us anyway. You know, am I going to argue with him? It's 95 degrees and you want to wear a hot-ass Scooby-Doo outfit with the tail and the ears? No, I'm fucking not. I'm not going to argue with your ass. That what you want to wear? Handle it, Roy. I let him wear the shit. I don't care. You know, and after that, he never asked to wear it again. But he always says, now that he's 11, it's cool my mama let me wear this. I just want them to be their own person. I want them to um, be respectful. I want them to be responsible. I want them to know once I turn 46 and both of them are 18, I'm buying a one-bedroom loft on that ass. So they got 10 more years. After that, I'm getting a one-bedroom. So I'm honestly honestly trying to teach them how to save money, how to um, buy stocks, um, how to pay bills, um, how to be responsible, how to love each other, how to love um, the world as a whole, um, how to be on this earth and do something for others, how to do charitable work, how to clean up not only after yourself but after the world, recycle newspaper, recycle plastic, um, eat as many live foods and vegetables as you can, plant a tree, hug a tree, drink a lot of water, pray, um, pray and ask for shit, meditate and listen for the answers. Um, what else I think is very important for children? Um, routine and structure is really good. I'm really not a structured person. My son, on the other hand, is. So he, hey, I told him, you, you want a job? I set the alarm clock. You better wake everybody up. If you don't wake everybody up, I ain't going to go to work. Your sister ain't going to go to school. I set my cell phone to to wake us up, but it's cool because he think he wake us up every morning, which some mornings, hell, he do. So, um, teach your responsibility, teach them to be accountable, um, loving life, just being happy, you know what I'm saying, for no reason. We have picnics in the backyard with cheese and crackers and a gallon of juice for nothing. We'll go play kickball in the goddamn snow for nothing. Snowball fights, pillow fights, movie nights. Anything, you know what I'm saying? And most of the things we do don't really cost us a lot of money because I ain't hood rich, but, you know, we do what we do. But um, I don't let them get caught up on materialistic stuff. My kids would be happy if I go buy some Walmart jeans versus going to buy some Rockaway jeans. They are really, really humble children, and they really, you know, I'm really teaching them. You know, all these name brands on your ass don't mean shit if you ain't got no fucking dollars in your fucking pocket. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, not no throwback dollars. I mean some dollars that you done save. Because when you save shit, shit is more important to you. So, Renee, those are the only pointers that I can give you um, about child rearing. And um, my brothers and sisters turned out all right, and I'm sure that my kids will too. If you got any other questions, R, Renee, R-E-N-E-E-1, 
thank you so much for even asking me and wanting my opinion. Um, if you got any other questions or anything else I can help you with, love you. Give me a shout. Thanks.